Good morning, everyone. So uh, after soaking uh, my black morels in uh, water and salt solution overnight to dewarm them, uh, I'm now going to um, get rid of this water and uh, pan sear them because I have a, a whole day of uh, driving today and I really want them to make it. So I'm going to prepare them before leaving. And uh, now that they're so moist and full of water, Right, it might take a little longer to get the water out. Um, and then we'll add some oil, salt, and sear them. All right, these are soft. They look spongy, you know? <laughs> they look like a, like a sea creature now. Ooh. Can you hear the sound? Let's do it. They're so meaty and they smell like um, steak. And um, the texture, I think, is going to be perfect for um, a mushroom burger or a mushroom uh, lettuce wrapped burger. Um, let's give it a try. I'm gonna go to Berryvale and get uh, quickly uh, a few little pieces and uh, let's experiment. All right, so our morels uh, are perfectly seared and um, I ran into Berryvale Market nearby and I got a couple of ingredients to try to make it into a uh, lettuce wrapped burger. Uh, reason being is they remind me of meat so much. They smell like meat to me when I'm cooking them. Uh, I think the texture is very meaty and um, uh, I decided why not, you know, something that I would uh, use uh, a regular portobello for. Uh, maybe I can use uh, morels instead and uh, make something delicious. So using um, their texture profile and... Mmm. Uh, mmm. Mmm, this is really good. All right. Mm. You know what? I know I probably shouldn't show on camera, but it's a good thing I tried them now. You know what? I feel like um, the way they seared, because I soaked them in the salt water overnight and then got rid of the water, steamed it out, and uh, seared the mushrooms. Um, the stipe, the stem, is a little bit on this part, the white part of the mushroom. Let me show you close by this little guy. Right now, this little guy is a little chewy, but this is delicious. And uh, it melts in your mouth, literally. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use just the tops for my uh, lettuce wrap mushroom burger. Let's see. All right, so I went to Berryvale and this is what I got. I got a red leaf lettuce. Ooh, I have uh, blue jays all around watching me make the burger. I feel like I have to share with them afterwards. All right, I got uh, some red leaf lettuce. And, uh, well, let's set that aside for now because that's going to be our last part. I also got a carrot. I don't know why, but I felt like shredding a little bit of carrot into my burger. Uh, maybe because I've been drinking carrot juice for the past three days nonstop. And um, you know how that goes. If you do it, more will come. And I got a tomato. And that's it for that. And, a, and pickles. Let's experiment. I don't know. I'm trying to keep it simple, but also um, I don't want to 
get uh, stuff and then have to throw it out because I'm traveling today. All right, let's do it. Let's grate the carrots first. Let's do that first. I'm actually going to do it like this just to save a little bit of time. I'm going to eat this later. All right. I think this will be great on our black morel burger lettuce wrapped. All right. All right. No carrots wasted. Let's pick them all up. Let's pick them all up. All right. So this is done for now. Now let's yeah, let's do the tomato first. How are we gonna do the tomato? Let me think about how would I want it to be sliced. Just very thin and regular. Which way? This way, for sure, this way. Yeah, okay. All right, let me stand up. One. All right, since I'm preparing um, only for one person, I'm gonna save the rest. I'm not gonna slice. Uh, too much stuff. Um, all right, so we have our thinly sliced tomato. We have our carrots right there. Now let's slice um, a pickle. Let's open this up. And uh, how do I want my pickle to be sliced? I think tiny little. Uh, thin slices, but around or maybe a little bit slanted. Yeah, maybe a little bit slanted. I feel like the slanted today. I think the cut, the way you cut something, um, changes the way the flavor of the food, completely changes the flavor of the food. You can cut something this way and it's going to taste this way. How incredible is that? We got the uh, pickle and now our morels. Let's take some of the stipes out and uh, keep caps only. Oh. How incredibly gorgeous is that? I'm a lucky girl. Oh, oh. All right. So I actually don't want to have them. And I didn't have them before uh, because I thought of this recipe specifically. And since I want them to be a little more textury, a little bit more squishy, like a piece of tofu or meat, I'm going to keep them exactly this way so that when my teeth go into the into it from both sides they don't touch each other right it'll give you a different feeling so let's do that all right now for our uh, red leaf lettuce perfect it doesn't have any holes all right so let's do this one and figure out which part do we want to use most the top or the bottom let's see if we need to do another one yeah we do all right let's arrange everything let's arrange our uh, mushroom burger Ooh. yes there we go And we're going to go a little bit of carrots. Ah, focus on the mushrooms, not on me. Focus on the mushrooms. A little bit of carrots. A little bit of pickles. Thinly sliced. Focus, focus. Pickles, pickles. All right, and let's do a tomato. Ta-da. OK, 
Can you see it well? Right, our morels are sitting in there. And now let's close it up. Whoop, we lost the morel. Don't run away. They like running away. All right, we're going to close this up. We're going to trim just a little bit the sides. And then wrap it into a little wrap wrap. Just like this. And give it a try. In the moment of truth. Let's give it a try. <gasps> Mm. Mm. I can already tell that this is really good. Mmm. Mmm. Mm, guys, this is good. I don't know if you can see it. Yum, yum. Mm. Maybe a little more pickle. Mm. So good. Mm. I'm wearing a mic, so you probably are hearing me too extra loud. <laughs> On one side. <laughs> I was so excited, I forgot to even take a plate. <laughs> Just because I have so much to do today. My thoughts are trying to run away and I'm keeping them still trying to keep them from running away just like morels sometimes I'm succeeding sometimes not sometimes they run so fast that I lead the present moment and sometimes I'm good at catching them and having them stay for a moment longer so I can enjoy where it is that I am more fully. Be present, everyone. Cheers. Bye.